Hello and welcome to the world of maps and our how-to videos. This is video number two in our favorite customizing tips and in today's video we're going to talk about enlarging and reducing a graphic and the snap to grid. So let's get right into it here. So here we have a map of Australia and uh, a very very common thing that people want to do is either make it make the map larger or smaller. So a very simple way to do that is we are just going to select all the elements that make up this map and we'll do it by taking our mouse button holding it down and just dragging see the little blue that comes around the dotted lines or the blue area and everything that's inside of that blue area will be selected so now you can see all the little handles and everything here um, is selected so to enlarge it or reduce it very simple we just need to group it first so let's go to our draw pop-up menu we're going to do group it's right here so now what I can do now that I have everything grouped I'm going to go to my lower right hand corner and notice how the mouse when I drag it over the top put it over the top it changes from a little star pattern a pointer star to little arrows I'm holding down my shift key to keep it proportional and I can slide it in and resize I can also go out Either way, I can enlarge or reduce. Very simple to do. So let's just make it smaller. And here we have the new size. And you'll notice that the land and everything went down to the correct size, but it didn't. The type didn't um, reduce because type isn't scalable in PowerPoint. But what I can do is I bring in my formatting palette, and you notice right here it has an eight plus. So you just change the point the point size. There's seven, that's not quite right. Let's try six, I'm hitting my enter key, not quite right. Let's go to five, that looks pretty good. Okay, so there we have it. We've changed everything to our new size. All elements are in place and we can now just ungroup this and we're ready to do any further customizing. Great way to enlarge or reduce something, great tip. Remember your shift key and just reduce. Tip number four in our favorite tips. This is the Snap to Grid. And this is just a tip to uh, help you not get frustrated using PowerPoint. Uh, when you open up a new PowerPoint presentation, there is an a, a invisible grid that is underneath all of this. And what that does is that it allows you to line things up, line up boxes and text and things. But when you're working with a map, it can drive you a little crazy. So what that means is, I'm gonna just turn on my Snap to Grid. Now it can be located in a number of different places. In older versions of PowerPoint, it's located here in the draw pop-up menu. In new versions of PowerPoint, it's located here under the view menu. You just have to search for it sometimes. But if I turn the snap to grid on, you'll notice if I pull out a state, customize it, so let's just make it a light blue, and then try to put it back, I can't always get it to go right where it came from. There's a little gap in here. Now, things just don't line up. That's because of the snap to grid. It's lining to the grid and not to the map. So if I go and turn the grid off, here we go, snap to grid off, now I can bring this out and now it doesn't need that grid and I can just bring it right in exactly where it should be. So a great tip to know if you take one of our maps and copy it into a new presentation and you can't seem to get the parts to go back together again, it's the Snap2 grid. All our maps come with the Snap2 grid turned off, but the default in PowerPoint is that it is on. So thank you for joining us today here at the World of Maps, where we have editable PowerPoint maps for our presentations. They're royalty-free, easy to customize, and you can download them from our websites. We have U.S. and Canada, world projection, globes, countries, states, counties, and world regions. Thanks again. See you next time. Bye-bye.